A little bit of shape, but it's through the covers. Beautifully placed. It's a long boundary. It's over 70 metres, and it'll get there. First boundary tonight. What a timing. Just leaned on it. Didn't really need to hit hard. That's Barber for you. Lovely timing on that. Gives himself room and misses. There's a shout. Oh, Coulton Niles, very, very confident. And so is Alex Carey. Aaron Finch, they could go upstairs if they want to. Alex Carey saying, I reckon he hit it. We'll have to make the decision quickly. Ooh, what's that? That is an edge. That's a good decision taken by the captain. Hassan Raza, the umpire, adjudicating. And a wicket has fallen for Pakistan. Caught behind and a good referral there from the Australians. And Aaron Finch was mainly led by the vice captain, Alex Carey. So Pakistan goes for 11. Pakistan, 29 for one. That's beautifully placed. What about that? That is a classy shot there from Baba. Beautiful timing. And he's greeted with a lofty hit. That may just clear the man. It's a big six. Hafiz likes spin. Likes hitting them straight back. Tonight, that could be a wicket. No, six. But this is the key for Pakistan's batting, isn't it? These two. It is, yeah. Look, Baba batted through the innings in the first game and, and um, was a big part of their, their score and their total. So. Um, hopefully we can get him out and as I said um, do pretty much exactly what the boys did in the first game and take wickets to the back end and really restrict the, the run scoring. Speaking of wickets that could be one. Thanks Mitchell for your time and uh, we'll take it back upstairs boys. Yeah Hafiz has to go. Hit that pull shot very well but he's just picked out Darcy short in the deep. Pakistan lose their second wicket. Mohamed Hafiz uh, batted quite nicely. Scored 40 is 99 for two. Big shot. Will he be taken? Yes, very good catch. Misses out on a 50 and on a record as well. He would have been the third batsman to score fifth, four 50s in a row, but not to be. Good catch from Aaron Finch. Deep mid off the captain. Put him in the right position himself. Gone for 45 from 44. Pakistan. 106 for three. Big shot, that's club for six. First glimpse of Asif Ali in this T20 series. What a strike. Wonderful shot wide and way over mid on. It was just a length delivery from Stanley. The slower balls have been the ones that have been hard to hit, but this one back deep in the crease, picks it up beautifully, right out of the middle of the bat. It's a smash. This should be taken. Australians have fielded well. It was a slice. Darcy shot picks up a catch. He's disappointed because he's middling them okay. But this is uh, what can happen to you in T20 innings. You can falter. There's hardly a, a space for any error. Gone. Well, you got to go for it. That's the thing with it. And you've only got four overs left and you've only got 117 on the board. It forces you to try and take every ball, but it's some good bowling and some good fielding from the Australians. Definitely an improvement in the field from the Aussies compared to game one. They've held their catches tonight, created opportunities. Asif goes for nine, Pakistan 117 for four. Mid off, takes the catch. Shweb Malik has been dismissed. He wanted to clear that man. It's Mitch Marsh who takes a good catch. No timing from Shweb Malik and his innings comes to an end. I reckon that was a hard catch for Mitch Marsh. I think he didn't pick it up. He th I think he thought it was coming a lot faster. You watch his leg at the end and he just got it in his hands. <laughs> a little bit of a stumble there, but I reckon that surprised him. It was a good catch though by Mitch Marsh. So Malik's got to go with his game back. 14 from 12, 131 for 5. 
Goes big straight away. Mid-off is running back. Mitch Marsh takes a wonderful catch. It's a tumbling effort. It's a great effort. It's a brilliant piece of fielding. What a classic there from Mitch Marsh. The ball was in the slot there to be a hit over mid-off. He had his mid-off up and his bowled a half volley. He's got away with it because that is some exceptional fielding from Mitch Marsh. Let's have a look at the delivery. It was off speed, but it was up. It was pitch. It was the shot. Just got it on the bottom of the bat. Hassan Ali, but have a look at this catch from Mitch Marsh going back. He would have been thinking about the rope. It bubbles up and grabs it in his left hand. It's a classic catch from Mitch Marsh. And the man who scored 17 in game one misses out tonight. 131 for six. Can he produce a hat-trick? Only Brett Lee has produced one for Australia in T20s. Here we go then. Hat-trick ball. Imad Basib is not strike. Yes. Gets worked. In fact, it was Faim Ashraf. Let's go over the infield for runs. Four of them. That's a very good start. Goes big. Hits a six. Hits a six. That's more like it. Now we're talking. Not to bring a smile to the captain. And what a time to do it as well. It was a change of pace. Fahim just held back, picked it up beautifully. Seema, but he had his fingers spread on it. It was a slight change of pace, and that was enough. Yeah, beautifully balanced. Very good example of power hitting. Last ball of the innings. Can they get another big one here? Big shot. Oh, misses the ball going down the leg side. So Pakistan end the innings on 147. It's a leg by. Australians have done extremely well. Because at one stage they were looking at a total of around 170. But uh, wickets fell in the middle of the innings. And Aaron Finch would feel that this can be achieved. This target of 148. Good last over for Pakistan. Though 15 runs leaked. Fahim not out on 17. Babur once again amongst runs. Hafiz probably played the innings for Pakistan. 40 from 34 balls. Shweb, Asif and Hassan just couldn't get things going in the middle of the innings. In the bowling side of things, Max will open the bowling. But it was cool to Niall. Three for 18 from his three overs. Superb tonight. Stan Lake picked up a couple of wickets as well. A little bit expensive for him. Andrew Ty, normally very economical. He went for 10 runs and over. Mitch Marsh, one over. Zampa, four overs. No wicket for 20 months. So that's the spin. And also Darcy Short, three overs. So the spinners bowled seven overs between them and went for 37 runs and picked up a wicket. Safras thinks there might be a chance, and the umpire will go upstairs to have a look. Did Imad get a finger on it? Did Darcy Short leave the crease? All will be revealed. Yeah, the bat might be in the air. T20 cricket, people want to just leave the crease. They want to be early into their run. So this might be dodgy for the Australians. Is it in the air? No, yes, yes, definitely that bat is in the air. So that's, that's a wicket for Pakistan, an early wicket. Came through a run out. Yeah, confirmation. There it is. Darcy Short's going to have to go. He can't believe it. Still talking to the umpire in the middle. He thought he had his bat down. Darcy Short's gone for two. Pakistan's first wicket came in the third over. 11 for one. Oh, Lynn goes big. Great connection. That's gone all the way for six into the second tier. What a shot to get off the mark by Chris Lynn. 
That's Lin for you. That's the way he plays. That's his game. What a stroke. Wonderful. Picked the length very early and went through with the stroke. 95 meters. <laughs> wow, what a shot. And Chris Lin, he knew as soon as he made contact that that was out of here. Oh, it's a chance. Is it popped up in the air? And what a catch! Shut up's the man. He's a brilliant fielder. Chris Lynn, he has to go. Australia lose their second. Excellent change of pace. A little bit slower that occasion. Chris Lynn was getting edgy, struggling for to rotate the strike. Pakistan right on top. Here in Dubai, Chris Lynn, he goes for seven. Australia 19 for two after five. Big shot. Catch it is the call. Will this be taken? It is. Fakhar Zaman is an excellent outfielder. He doesn't disappoint the bowler, doesn't disappoint his captain Pakistan. Once again, on the mark tonight. Three down Australia. It's Aaron Finch who's been dismissed. Aaron Finch gone for three. 31 for 3, Australia. Ah! 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 The is given. Mitch Marsh didn't seem like he was happy with it. He can review it if he wants to. He seems to be walking off. Mitch Marsh gone for 21 is 61 for 4, Australia. Another one, gone. This is excellent spin bowling from Pakistan, by the way, Azar. You must be chuffed. Yeah, it's been brilliant. You know, the, the, the way they're executing their plans. And uh, normally, you know, you have to have a change, pace off from the ball. But sometimes on wicket like this, you know, you have to hit the area and don't give any anything, you know. And a thick outside edge. And Alex Carey goes for one. Australia, big trouble. 62 for five. Straight up in the air, Medoff's getting around, he's getting underneath it, and it is dropped. A let off for Glenn Maxwell, and in the end, they've come back for three. Well, it was always going to be a tough one for Medoff going back. Could be out, it is. Great bit of work, Pakistan, they have been on fire tonight in the field. Well, don't worry about Imad taking that catch or not. So unfortunate from McDermott once again, getting run out. Well short of his crease. Rushing for that single. Well, he's moving toward. That's well out, that's well out. I'm not sure why the on-field umpire has gone for that third umpire. That is big wicket. Once again, uh, Ben McDermott getting run out. It's uh, 73 for six. The second time he's been run out. Run out for a duck in the first game. And the same again. It's a wonderful building from Zaman. What about that six? Glenn Maxwell launching one in the upper tier. Well, he knows he needs to go big. That required run rate at 14 at the start of this over, targeting the leg side, which looks a little shorter. Shot ball goes to Hafiz, is rested. Whereas well, the slow ball attempted and it almost worked. Only if Hafiz could have pounced it. It was a simple catch, straightforward catch. It's not happening for Pakistan in the last couple of overs. They've been just a little bit dodgy in the field regarding catching. It was a slow ball bouncer from Hassan Ali. Maxwell trying to swipe it over mid-off and Hafiz puts down the chance off Maxwell. That's a sweet hit. It's six. It's gone all the way. 
straight as an arrow flat and brilliant shot from Glenn Maxwell oh what a shot this is Shaheen going for the Yorker just couldn't quite get it in the hole and Maxwell was ready to pounce let's have a look again in the slot Maxwell down the ground he knew that's his 50 lucky but brilliant 50 from 33 balls has given a bit of lift and hope to Australia in this run chase they need 33 of 12 balls and if Maxwell Maxwell stays out there we could have a mighty interesting finisher he gave away 10 runs in his last over shine shy for the here we go then last six balls of the contest that's a sky it's a six it's a big one what a start it's gone out of here that's hit the top tier the toppest tier wow that is a massive hit by Coulton Isle. Wow, what a strike. That must have gone close to 100 metres, if not more. What a start for Australia. 17 now required from the last five. Have a look at this power strike, just clearing the front lane, and boom! It almost went to the moon. Wow, 106 metres in distance and about two miles high. Oh, that's gone up in the air. Who's calling for it? Who's calling for it? Long on, takes the catch. It's Shaib Malik who called for it. What a good catch. Pakistan needed that catch. So Glenn Maxwell has been dismissed. 18-year-old creates a bit of stir. Pakistan on top again. Oh, the experienced campaigner, Shaib Malik. He didn't panic. That ball went miles in the air. Great innings, great knock. 52 from 37 balls. Livened up the contest here. Glenn Maxwell, 132 for the loss of seven Australia. It's a hit. Deep cover, takes the catch. Asif Ali takes the catch, the thrust is absolutely pumped up Pakistan have won another series 10th in a row in T20 internationals There's still ball to be bold Pakistan on the cusp of something extremely special here we go then last ball just the formality nothing more than that that's put away into the gap and Pakistan win the contest win the series the 10th in a row that's a remarkable record they are the best side in the world in t20 internationals and they showcase the talent in no uncertain terms tonight great bowling performance yeah disappointment for australia but pakistan their bowlers and fieldsmen have done it again glenn maxwell played a very good innings tonight but wasn't enough for australia to get over the line to keep this series alive pakistan have done it by 11 runs so the match summary, Pakistan.